This video is my first deer hunt recorded. This is really my first year chasing bucks. Uh, haven't done it much in the past really at all. Um, so I am a newbie at this. I am not claiming to know much. I, I enjoy being in the stand, but uh, I'm a beginner at this. I've a lot of duck, waterfowl, upland birds, small game stuff here in Kansas, but uh, never got into the deer thing really until this year. So bear with me, it'll be fun watching me. I get pretty worked up. End up seeing a really nice buck that I'd seen earlier that week. Um, you'll see. I hope you enjoy it. It's going to be one beautiful sunrise. I didn't spook up any does or anything at all, but on a good note, my corn pile is gone. There is one gigantic, looks like gigantic, probably just big, buck right out about a hundred and two hundred yards away. Seeing if I can get him in here. He was big. Gosh dang it. So I rattled in uh, that nice eight pointer that I had seen at the beginning of the week. He's an eight pointer, but he's a big eight pointer. So uh, rattled him in from about 200 yards out in this field up to my south. And uh, I mean, he bolted right to me, bolted right to me so fast that I couldn't even turn on the camera. I couldn't. I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't even draw back the bow. He stands at about 30 yards right out here and looks at me, stares at me straight in the face. So the sun is blazing right in my face. I can't even move. I can't even move to draw back. I should have tried to draw back, but he did not take his eyes off me. I'm gonna wait it out for about 30 minutes, see what happens, see if I can get him back. Okay, so lessons learned <clears throat> today. Put GoPro closer to right hand so I can reach the damn thing. And number two, if a buck is running at me, draw before he gets there because he got right to me and he stopped and looked right at me he would not take his eyes off me sun's blazing me in the dang face winds right from behind me so 
My scent, what scent I might have, was going right to his nose. He was nice, very nice. Uh, about 9.30 climbed down from the stand everything stopped moving I'm excited about what happened it was, it, was, it was beautiful how it worked how he came straight to me but uh, I'll tell you what it is not cool having that nice of a buck in front of you and not even attempting to draw back I mean he just had his eyes on me so good that I mean, what do you do? You, you either try to draw back, you scare him off, you wait till his head turns and draw back. I was waiting till his head turned, I never turned because the wind was directly in his nose. It's not a wind, I mean, it's literally a half mile an hour, one mile an hour breeze, but it was right in his face, coming right off me. And he knew it, he licked his nose, he knew I was there. He stood there for about 45 seconds, but never looked away for me to draw back, never couldn't even I had my bow on my leg I couldn't even bring it up so that is deer hunting fun well I'm gonna uh, check some cards I need corn that means I'm gonna have to walk all the way over to my truck which is about a half a mile away and carry out a bag of corn and walk all the way back that will be great. So driving out of the field today, on the road I should say, got to the truck, put the bow away, got changed, was on the phone and looked out and seen that buck run out of a uh, south tree row that was south of me, ran out of the tree row and went back to where he came from where he was this morning. So I drove around the section, went to the south side and uh, got to put the binoculars on him for a while. It's pretty nice. He's gonna stay there, obviously. Um, checked the card on the camera. Camera didn't take any pictures. So I have lost an SD card from the same camera. And now the second go around, it didn't take any photos. So that is, that you know, that's great. great. But, I don't know, I might come back and try it in the morning. That buck's gonna be there. I don't know, I, I didn't see very many, I didn't see any vehicles parked around with signs of other people hunting in the area, so he's gonna be there. Hopefully I can get out in the morning. But, uh, I appreciate everybody viewing my channel. This is the first or second video. And um, I, I ask you to please subscribe to my channel. Be looking forward to some waterfowl action coming up here soon. We finally got birds coming in. Big push was just, well not big push, a push of birds was just this week finally. A lot, a lot, a lot of people out waterfowl right now out here, out west of town. Please subscribe to my channel. Please like the video if you did. I'm gonna try to keep putting them out. But other than that, 